Good day everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. On this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix in case if your touchpad is not working in your Windows 11 machine. Now, the first step, what I would suggest you to do is in case if your touchpad is not working, to restart your PC. That's one of the most effective ways to fix the Windows 11 touchpad is not working. Every time you restart your PC, all the system services will be restarted and automatically uh, fixing most of the problem. So that's the first thing what I would suggest in case uh, if your issue doesn't resolve or if you don't want to restart your PC. Um, what I would also suggest you is I would suggest you to uh, try pressing function keys on your keyboard. Now most of the time what happens is um, nowadays most modern laptops have a function key to disable the touchpad quickly and uh, and probably you might have pressed the function key accidentally so try pressing uh, the function key how to identify the function key um, you would see a touchpad icon um, imprinted on one of the keys in case if you don't see it um, then the next option would be uh, is to go ahead and enable the touchpad settings now for this step you might want to have an external uh, mouse uh, to follow the steps in case if you don't have an external mouse and it's an emergency uh, uh, what you can also do is you can use the shortcut keys on your keyboard so um, if you use a if you have a mouse uh, well and good you don't have to worry otherwise um, as a shortcut you can press windows and letter i simultaneously which will open up the system settings on the computer. Now, once you're on this page, uh, you can use tab on your keyboard and uh, you can select, keep tabbing, keep clicking on or uh, selecting the, hitting the tab key till it takes you to the system and use down arrow, which will take you to Bluetooth and devices. If you have an external mouse, you can select Bluetooth, Bluetooth and devices under this section. Hit enter. This will take you to Bluetooth and devices settings. Now here you will have to go ahead and navigate to touchpad. How to do it? Keep on pressing tab key on your keyboard. Keep on pressing it till you get to uh, devices. Now use down arrow key to navigate between the up and down so until you get a touchpad now you can hit enter this will open up the uh, bluetooth and devices for touchpad now here you can keep on tabbing till you have the toggle window turned on now what you can do is you can press uh, space on your keyboard in case if the touchpad is off uh, what you can do is you can press space on your keyboard that will allow you to turn on the touchpad on your computer so this is how you can uh, go ahead and enable the touchpad and um, in case if you want to see more option uh, what you can also do is you can navigate click, click, hit tab again that will toggle to the next option and hit enter now you would also see an option which says leave touchpad on when the mouse is connected in case if it is unchecked, you can also make sure that it has been checked. At the same time, you can also I would also suggest you to reset your touchpad settings. Uh, how to do it? You can keep on pressing tab and that will uh, take you to the next option here. And in case um, if, if you don't see an option to reset your uh, touchpad, um, you can close this window well and good. Now this should ideally fix the problem and uh, this should help you to resolve the problem. Now, in case after trying all this step, if you're not able to fix the problem, if your touchpad is still not working. Now, for this step, you would definitely need an external mouse to be connected. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to check if, uh, if you have the proper drivers installed on the computer. Now, basically, uh, what you need to do is uh, you will have to click on the search button. Once you're on the search button, open the run window. Otherwise, what you can also do is in the search window, you can go ahead and type command prompt. Run the command prompt as an administrator. In case if you get user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. 
if you don't see um, now here you will have to go ahead and type the command which is msdt dot exe space minus minus id space device diagnostic I will also mention this command in the video description once you have all this command typed you will have hit enter this will open up the hardware and devices diagnostic troubleshooting tool um, now here you will have to follow the step-by-step -step instruction on the screen and uh, um, click on click on for you need to keep on following the instruction till the diagnostic is completed in case if there are any diagnostic uh, issues or hardware related issues it will try to fix the issue by itself and um, that should resolve the problem now in spite of trying all the steps in case if you're still not uh, if the touchpad is still not working then the next step what i would suggest you to do is i would suggest you to go ahead and check the touchpad drivers how do you do that uh, like i said you would need an external mouse uh, or usb mouse which needs to be connected on the uh, on your to your laptop once um, on the desktop you will have to do a right click and uh, select device manager this will open up the device manager basically the device manager is nothing but it shows all the list of devices which are already installed on the computer under this section or under this list you will have to look for mice and other pointing devices which you would or you will have to look for human interface devices expand this and under this section you would see an HID compliant touchpad which you which is right here you will have to do a right click on it and click on update driver and search automatically for the drivers this will install the drivers all the necessary drivers uh, for your uh, touchpad at the same time um, if this doesn't fix the problem you might want to go ahead and uninstall the uh, uninstall the uh, the touchpad compliant devices drivers and try to restart the computer and that's sh um, when you restart the computer the touchpad driver should uh, uh, automatically installed for your windows 11 machine so these are the steps which you can try to fix in case if the touchpad is not working in your windows 11 laptop i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day